This is Bob with Century Auto Air Conditioning. Today we are resealing a Nip and Denso 10PA series compressor. The fastest way to identify a 10PA series is it will have a square plate across the top uh, and the front clutch will have splines instead of a keyway. I've partially disassembled this compressor for this speed as well as this compressor is representative of many different types of compressors including some GMs. So, First you take the front bolt out of the clutch hub, the hub will slide off. There are no special tools to get the clutches off in Nip and Denso. You may have to aid it by tapping it with a hammer and taking the snap rings off, but they will come apart. The compressor itself is held together by bolts in the front. crush washers that seal the bolts to the case. At this point, this, the compressor is unloaded. The rear cylinder head will come off. Keeping track of all your parts, stack them as they come off. Front cylinder head will slide off in the same way, as well as your valve plates will come off the same way as the rear. Next to separating this case. Uh, there is a seal in between, and once you unbolt it, you will be breaking the seal, and it will inevitably leak if you do not replace it. You can find a place to get a screwdriver and break it loose. Here is one of the tricks. You do not want to pull it with the crankshaft and the pistons falling out. You want to keep everything together. So lay it on the bench, hold the crankshaft down, and just slide one side of the case forward. That will leave the pistons and the crankshaft in their original location peel the seal out of there. Typically give everything a little bit of a wipe down, making sure you're not getting any dirt or lint into any of the crevices. Take a new seal, 